All right, so, uh, oops, just want to make sure, I thought I was stepping on my mic. Um, just want to make a talking video. This is not resilience. This is not political. It's nothing. It's just a question was asked. It says, uh, Kirk, what do, you, what do you expect to get out of all of this? You know, these videos and, you know, you only get 16 people that watch them. And, you know, who wants to watch you hike around in the woods and talk about the hike, you know, and... Uh, Anyway, I just thought I'd answer that question, and uh, I guess it goes all the way back to when I was a kid. I was kind of, kind of a loner, you know. Being short, you know, I got picked on a lot. So my thing was uh, just to take the dog and go hike around in the woods, and I loved it. Um, even back then, I just loved being out in the woods. It was just, uh, you know, I felt like they were my woods. Um, and then, of course, you know, I got into. Uh, backpacking a bit and then um, I've always loved camping and uh, so I but um, I guess the the first thing was um, you know I wrote a book on cybersecurity and I only sold uh, 50 copies and I uh, but the reason was is that I didn't know how to make videos I didn't know anything you know about videography or editing or any of that stuff still know very little you know, I'm trying to, you know, when I'm not too tired in the evenings, I'll watch a YouTube video on uh, using the DaVinci software, which is what I'm using now for editing. Um, and then, uh, you know, I want to get a GoPro. Uh, I've come this close to pulling the trigger on buying a GoPro, but I'm just, I was hoping they would come out with another, like a GoPro 10 right now, the GoPro 9. Um, but I'm making pretty good videos with this camera, so what's the, what's the point? So anyway, once I figured out that I could make videos that, the first point, well, let's go back to when I had cancer, okay. Um, I got cancer once, lymphoma. Uh, that was back in, I'd say, 2008, 2009. Uh, we got it into remission after six months of hell. Uh, I've already told those stories in other videos. And then it came back again, and I had to do a uh, stem cell transplant. Um, many people call it a bone marrow transplant. And uh, my odds of surviving were minuscule uh, but I'm still here who knew, who knew I was one of the lucky ones you know that's all it is it's not it's not survival you know it's not like being out here and hiking this is survival you know some people get cancer and die some people get it and they can get it into remission and that's why I said I'm just one of the lucky ones it's all luck and uh, but I asked the doctor at that time I said what do I need to do to you know to keep cancer from coming back a third time because then that's a for sure death sentence and uh, he said two things. Uh, he says, you got to uh, stay away from high fructose corn syrup. And I added corn syrup to that list. And then I also try to limit my sugar intake. So, but, uh, you know, that's not easy, man. Like, you know, just for example, it was real easy for me to pass up Woka Cola because, uh, you know, I don't, uh, I can't drink it because it's got high fructose corn syrup. So anyway, um, the, uh, and then the second thing was, he says, you need to exercise an hour every day and I've always enjoyed walking you know and hiking because yeah, it just just gets my head on straight you know because uh, it to me it's spiritual physical mental uh, you know that's that to me is what hiking is you know um, and so that's why but I used to just hike around you know because I lived in Dearborn Michigan and I used to just hike around the neighborhoods and because uh, there's no place to go there's no trails or anything like that um, and then, uh, you know, um, so when I got to Florida, you know, I realized that I could make these videos with this new phone, this, this Samsung Galaxy S, S20 Plus. And uh, I said, well, you know what, I, cause the, we wanted to, I wanted to archive my war stories and my time in the Marine Corps and my time at Paris Island and uh, my time in the Air Force and my time in the Army, you know, and because uh, you, you can put that in the Library of Congress. But every time I tried to work with those idiots at the VA to get that done, you know, the, the videography equipment would mess up or they, you know, something would go wrong and I'm wasting all my time. And I, I said, you know what, what the hell, man? Why don't I just put these up on YouTube? And if anybody watches them, they watch them. If they don't, they don't. At least I got it documented, right? Um, so, you know, I'll be flipping these over on the Rumble too so that I have a backup and then I got them backed up on the... So that was kind of the first foray into making the videos. And then, you know, when the virus came, I realized that you know, I had to find something to do away from people. I didn't want to play pickleball because it's too close quarters. 
Uh, so, you know, and, and, and would it have been pretty safe? Probably, you know, I, I, but I just, you know, a lot of those people back then, they weren't taking the virus very seriously. And, uh, and I was, at least at first, you know. And uh, so I wanted to just stay the hell away from people. What better way than to go hiking, right? It's your passion. It's my passion anyway. I got I to gotta exercise an hour every doggone day, you know. And then, you know, come to find out, you know, unbeknownst to me, was this is the greatest, Central Florida is the greatest place probably in the United States for hiking. I mean, I, I, I'm going to be hiking around here for years before I get all these trails hiked. And, uh, and then it occurred to me, I said, well, why not make some hiking videos, you know? Um, and, then, and then that's the point of the question. You know, Kirk, you know if nobody looks, watches, I've got 16 people that follow me. <laughs> you know, if nobody watches the videos, what's the, what, you're not going to, you know, then of course the, their, their point was, you're not ever going to make any money at this, you know? And I think, but it's not about making money, man. I just wanted to, to document some of my journeys. And uh, so today I was thinking about it. Um, you know, I, sometimes you get bad days. Okay, when we went up into the Ocala National Forest, I mean, I didn't know. I mean, you know, of course, that was a nightmare. I've got bug bites that, you know, the uh, wood ticks, the fleas, I, you know, brought them all into my house and infested the house with all kinds of, they were all over me. I mean, yeah, that was a horrible, horrible day. Uh, I mean, the, the hike wasn't, but I mean, the, the, the aftermath was devastating. So then you come out today and uh, I don't know if you'll get to watch my Florida Trail hike. This is from uh, Ross Prairie over to uh, Pruitt, P-R-U-I-T-T. -T. Um, so we were knocking out another section of the Florida Trail. I dare say this is the, the best day of hiking that I've had this year. Uh, just uh, an astounding trail. I mean, you got up on two ridges. It was like being up in the mountains. The weather was just perfect you know a breeze back there uh, um, I mean and this is what you live for so every now and then you just nail it on one of these hikes you know you get out and you and you see things and you're just like oh my gosh look at that look at those birds or you know today we got a turtle I got a deer I saw a cardinal I didn't get him on the video um, that was you know they're beautiful red birds I love them that's Virginia's uh, bird and um, so you know that, that's why I do this it's not you know, I, it, I, I don't think that some of the people who subscribe to my channel realize that I, I'm not doing this to make money. And, and the other thing is sometimes I like to just watch my, my videos because then I get to enjoy the hike all over again, uh, you know, while I'm sitting at the, in the air-conditioned office. And, uh, and, and then the other thing is I wish I knew somebody that made videos uh, when I first came to Florida um, because then I would have found out about all of the trails in the area because I always give you the location of where I am so that you can if you are visiting Central Florida or you live here that you can always get out and find you know where I was especially if you looked at the hike and said man I got to do that that looked like a really fun day you know I'll have to go go where that idiot cybersecurity guy goes and uh, and try it out you know um, so that's that cybersecurity guy and uh, so that's uh, that's it I just wanted to make a quick um, talking video about why I do these hikes uh, today was just just perfect I mean four hours of just awesomeness I mean I and the other thing that I love is uh, I mean I am beat so when I get home man, there's nothing better than just kicking back and relaxing and uh, getting a little food in your gullet and then just watching TV and uh, well I watch YouTube videos and try to learn a little bit do a little work on the computer uh, you know maybe you know, eventually I got to get a website up again. Um, so, uh, and then tomorrow, see, I'm, I'm like that. Four hours today, I, I can't, I won't be doing anything tomorrow. So, you know, I can sit around the house and maybe do laundry. Uh, or I actually got to start packing my backpack to, to get up to my mother's in Virginia. So maybe I'll take that on tomorrow because there's no need to get out and hike. I've, I've trashed my body. I can't, I can't do this two days in a row. It's just, it's too much. Um, you know, maybe I'll go down to, you know, we got that little, 0.5 mile hiking area in my community and you know sometimes I'm, if I get a little energy during the day tomorrow I might go down and just do that um, and so hey that's it uh, just wanted to answer that question why I do this uh, mainly to help anybody who comes to Central Florida show you the hikes that are available here um, I hope you get a little bit of uh, enjoyment out of watching that you know where where, where I am in the forest uh, 
Um, you know, every now and then I do get a little political or, uh, or talk about resilience. Um, but those are separate videos. I keep them separate from my hiking videos. And I always let you know when I'm going to make one of those videos so that you don't have to watch it, you know. All right, that's it. Let's, uh, man, I, I got to drink some water and get on the motorcycle, get going, got a long ride home. Although I'm going to try to find this Pruitt trailhead and that'll, that'll be tacked on to the, uh, the Ross Prairie uh, Florida Trail hike from, uh, to Pruitt video. And, uh, and then we'll attack that trail from the other side and then that'll wipe out this portion of the Florida Trail. So, you know, we're getting up there, man. It's 1,500 miles, and I, I bet I'm at 350, 400 miles so far already. So, anyway, let's, let's, let's keep it going.